Hey everyone, welcome back to this Tosca automation playlist. And today I'm going to talk about a common issue which we face during our test automation and how we can resolve this in Tosca. So the scenario is when you have elements which have got common properties, how do you identify these elements? Now, one way we have already seen is to use different identification mechanisms available in Tosca, like you can identify by anchor, by image, or by index. But what if you don't want to use any of these options, right? And there is another option which you can implement right at a test case level, okay? So we'll see how you can do this. And our scenario is uh, on this particular page, if I want to click on this add to cart button, all the add to cart buttons have got similar properties and Tosca cannot identify and cannot perform the click on this. So let's see this in action and then we'll see how we can resolve this issue. So let me go back to Tosca and here I'm going to scan this particular application and uh, add this particular button into a module. So let's do that first. I'm going to select this application here. And then uh, here we will see that there are different add to cart buttons. And if I go ahead and select one of these, you will see that uh, the item is not unique, right? So selected item is not unique. And uh, if I go into properties, even in the technical properties, you won't find any property which will help you to identify this uniquely, okay? So as I said, uh, you can always go ahead and use this different identification mechanisms like anchor, image, or index in order to make this unique, right? But what if I don't want to do this, okay? So let's go ahead and save this module first. And let's close this. Let's go back to our Tosca. And here I am quickly going to rename this, okay? So I'm going to call it products. And now I have created a test case here uh, with a folder. So here I'm going to add this particular module, okay? So let me drag this to here and this will create my test step, okay? And uh, we are just performing uh, add to cart. So I'm going to perform the click uh, method on this add to cart button, okay? So first uh, let's go ahead and run this and let's see if it can actually perform the click or not. And what is the error which is returned by Tosca? So as soon as you see that Tosca is taking some time to perform any particular action and it is doing nothing, that means uh, it is a sign that you are going to face some error, okay? Because then it goes into that timeout uh, phase where you have mentioned some timeout, some default timeout for identifying a particular element, right? So if it is fails to identify that in that particular timeout, then after that time, it is going to return a particular error. Okay. So now, um, as you can see, uh, the test case has failed. And if I go back to Tosca, here it will exactly tell you what has happened. Okay, so in the login for you will see that more than one control found okay, for this action. Now, as I said, there are multiple ways of handling this particular scenario, right? You can do it at the module level, uh, but uh, I want to show you another way which is possible, okay? So for this, uh, what we need to do is we need to go to our module and go to this module attribute. And here we need to add another configuration parameter, okay? So when you right click and click on create configuration parameter, here I am going to add another configuration parameter called explicit name, okay? And uh, we can set this value to either true, false, or we can also provide a range, okay? Uh, and then in the test case, you can use uh, any particular name from that range, or if it is set to true, then you can use um, some other name through which uh, it can probably steer that particular element, okay? So now if I go back to my test case here, uh, I can actually change this name, okay? 
So in normal scenarios, if you don't have that explicit name property or configuration parameter, then you cannot change this name right from your test case level, right? You can change it at a module attribute level, but you cannot change it uh, at a test step level, okay? So for this, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to name it as hash, okay, and three. So what I'm telling Tosca is uh, go ahead and click on the number three button, okay, in this particular page. So it will click on this add to cart. Right, and it is going to identify it using this particular explicit name property which we have uh, provided for this module attribute. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this now. And as you can see, it is clicking on the third add to cart button. Okay, so similarly, you can uh, steer any particular element. Okay, if there are some common elements on the page. Maybe it is links, it is buttons, or it is any other elements, right? Which where you want to perform some action. So you can steer it this way. Okay, so you just have to use the explicit name property for that module attribute and then um, put a name uh, as the number of uh, the element which you are trying to perform the action on. It is similar to uh, uh, index property, right? Where we provide an index of a particular element, but this would be more stable compared to index because index, as you know, can change uh, in a particular page, right? So that's all for this particular video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new today. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel as uh, we are regularly posting new videos and uh, you would want to get notified every time we post a new video, okay? Also, if you have any other suggestions or any other topic which you want to learn, just put it on the comments and we'll make sure that uh, we would include that in the coming up sessions. So until we meet again, keep enjoying our sessions on Tosca and keep learning.